Hello Year 9, in this video we are going to be focusing on the artist Marina Gonzalez M.A. Um, and taking inspiration from her to finish your portraits. So, um, the artist is actually a Spanish artist who lives in Madrid and she tries to represent the natural female form. So she shows natural female beauty by drawing and painting strong women. Um, she also wants to blur the line between painting and drawing in the way that she applies um, paint and chalk and different things. So she sometimes uses brushes, but she also sometimes uses sticks and pens and um, different things like her fingers even. So in the pictures that we are looking at, she, she focuses on shape, texture and pattern and they are three things that I want you to think about when you are doing your portrait. So some of the shapes that she uses are motifs that she actually repeats throughout a lot of her different artworks and these things are the eye motif that you can see kind of in the middle there um, and she also uses the teardrop motif uh, which you can see on the right hand side of the screen there as well. So you could use these things in your pictures, or maybe you could take more inspiration from the textures that are kind of these like dots. Um, you could look at patterns like line and zigzag, um, and you could look at different shapes such as circles and um, ovals that she uses a lot. Um, but also thinking about the shape of the features of the actual face. So you could look at maybe a nose shape and then repeat that maybe going across the face a little bit as well. It's quite a creative thing so whatever you think will make your picture look most like the artist's work or a work that the artist maybe would create. So you will need um, pens, pencils, paint or pastels or crayons, anything that gives you bright colours. So because you're obviously working in the style of this artist, you're doing something that looks um, like it could be created by her, um, you need to use bright colours. And then uh, the other thing that you're going to need is the portrait that you did last time. As you're working straight onto that, you're working onto the side that is currently blank. So this lesson, you need to use shape, texture and pattern to create interest in your portrait and to emulate the artist. This should be on the other side of the face to the side that we did last time as you're finishing the portrait. It may be helpful to rub out your portrait first as the shapes and textures and patterns that you do over the top might not exactly fit what is already drawn on the page. I started with some motifs and patterns that I knew that the artist used um, and then went in and looked at more at texture and pattern. As you will see, um, I get to a point where I think actually I really want to do a black background in some places because the artist uses a black background. You can choose if you want to do a fully black background, if you don't want a black background at all or if you only want it in some places. But remember, if you're using um, pens and pencils, you'll have to do this at the end and go around it as something like a highlighter is not going to show up over the top of a black pen. At the end of this lesson, your portraits will be complete. So we just need a photograph on class charts and for you to keep the original copy safe.